Hello folks, how's it going? I'm just doing more microphone testing stuff, continuing from yesterday because my daughter came home from school and basically took over the living room and I couldn't continue with what I was doing so I found something else to do and now I'm back to doing this again. I don't think that this mic on a boom above my head is going to work. These condenser mics really suffer with the proximity effect, you need to be close otherwise there's too much room noise and that's not ideal so I think what I'll do is I'll stick with this which is my Line 6 radio mic for talking head stuff if I want it because you see I've got my Sony camera here and I can plug this mixer desk here that goes into this So that's the receiver, the bit I showed you earlier is the transmitter and then I take a feed into the camera and I think to be honest that's probably my best bet for talking head stuff, which is a shame because it's this one especially, this is my ear trumpet labs Louise, but you have to be right on it, you know, sort of radio DJ style, otherwise it's just too much room noise and a shotgun mic's too expensive right now, I can't, there's no way I can justify that. So I'm going to just work with what I have and take it from there. Otherwise things are good. I think for music what I'll probably do is I'll either sing into that radio mic and I'll use this small condenser on this little mic stand which will come across here so that will be in front of the guitar and it won't be in the way or anything. The Louise, however, if I'm singing into this, you know, it kind of obscures my beautiful face, which we really can't have. Although the sound is, is actually very good, so perhaps seeing less of my beautiful face would be a good idea. The other issue with it, though, is that the camera will tend to focus on the microphone and not on me, so that's another issue unless I manual focus which adds another layer of complexity because I have to manual focus when I'm not sitting in the chair. <laughs> Although I can do it, there's a, an app on here which I'm using called Field Monitor which does let me control the camera to some extent, but mm, I don't know. Anyway, I just had a good morning jamming to left field. I plugged my guitar into the mixer and I got some, uh, some delay going and some reverb played Left Field's album through the studio monitors here and just jammed and it was it was really good fun. Inspired by a conversation I had with Green Cross on Discord this morning. Nice to talk to you, Daniel, and I uh, hope you're doing okay. So, off to the kitchen now to eat some lunch and post yesterday's video and then back through for some more audio checking and some guitar lessons. All right, hope you're all having a good day. I'll see you in a wee bit. Right, I've been messing around. I'm on my iPhone now and I've actually plugged the guitar in. The guitar's got a microphone inside. It's an LR Bags Anthem. No, it's an LR Bags Lyric, which is the microphone. I have an Anthem in the other guitar, which has the same microphone as well as an undersaddle. Anyway. Microphone in the guitar. Line 6. Wireless microphone. Small diaphragm condenser, also plugged in. And last diaphragm condenser also plugged in. Probably means I'm getting phase issues because well, phase issues are when the audio hits the microphone at a different part of the phase. You know, an audio wave is negative and positive like that. And if the sound hits a microphone out of phase, it can actually cancel out the sound. Or if it hits it, well, if it hits it 180 degrees out of phase, it will cancel out the sound. That almost never happens. What you end up with is a few degrees out of phase, which gives you a weird sound that's... You can fix in post by adjusting the polarity. But really you want to fix it at the source if you can. But I'm not monitoring, so I can't really do that. I mean, I could monitor, but... Anyway, this is my setup for... Instagram videos, guitar lessons that I'm doing from TonyPolacastro.com. It's a work in progress, I'm going to have to 
keep working at it each day and hopefully incrementally get my sound better by adjusting microphones, adjusting positions, adjusting gain levels. I think perhaps this might be the solution if I simplify it just by going with the microphone and the guitar and the Line 6 microphone. So let me just do that now, see if you can hear a difference. I'm going to turn off both of the condensers so that you'll hear just the guitar and the Line 6. So the lesson went something like this. That was today's lesson, it's a little hammer-on exercise. And I'm just wondering how the sound compares now that I've switched off the microphones. If I were not to use the microphones, it would obviously simplify the setup. But if the microphones give me a much better sound, then that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm in the studio, right, I can leave this stuff more or less set up. It adds a little bit of friction to the, to the process, but, you know, I want my channel to be as good as it can be. And so that's why I'm experimenting with all these microphones and stuff to try and, try and get my sound to be the best it can be. Uh, lighting is not bad at the moment. Simplifying it by using the iPhone because I like to post straight onto Instagram from the phone and for my daily vlogs as well I use the phone. More often than not, as any of you know who've watched my vlog, I'm out and about and I'm in the kitchen. So I'm just hand holding the phone. That keeps it simple. For daily vlogs, simplification is everything because you know, I'm doing it every day and I need to be able to do it as I think of it. You know, when inspiration strikes, then, you know, even hand holding's fine because I'm able just to get the content out, out of here and onto there. Whereas I noticed yesterday when I, I was setting up the Sony camera over here, testing microphones again, but I had something to say. I was in the kitchen and I was inspired to just riff into the camera and so, I came through and I started saying it all up and by the time I'd set it up, the inspiration had kind of gone, you know, so that's a thing I need to be aware of. If I can simplify the setup time, obviously that will help. So once I've done the experimenting as much as this goes, then I should be okay to go. I think for longer form talking head content, which this kind of is really at the moment, I would rather use the Sony camera because the content, the, the, the quality is just it's night and day, the way that it can knock the background out of focus and, you know, have crystal clear focus on my face. Is, I, j I just love that look, you know. So, anyway, that's that's me for now. I'm going to switch off and listen back to this, see how it sounds. And I think that's probably a long enough video for today. I'll publish this one in the morning. You'll see it then. Thanks for watching.